You guys ready for another week of talking football with T? All right, let's get it. All right, so before we get into the picks, let's talk some trade news. So the big, big story that is happening today is that Antonio Brown just signed with the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. As you guys recall, he's been suspended. He's been unable to play, but that ends week eight. And so the Buccaneers with Tom Brady, his former QB back in the Patriots, has decided to bring him on in to Tampa Bay. So let's see what happens there. We know that Tom Brady does not have a good receiving core. Gronk is old and tired. Mike Evans is injured. We've got a lot going on down there. So this should shake up the offense for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Another trade rumor out there is that former Cowboy Des Bryant is supposed to sign with the Baltimore Ravens. Now, if this actually happens, it would shake up that team you hear me it's gonna make that Ooh, i can see the offense now i think Dez still has some years in him um y'all might disagree with me but i think that this could seal the deal right there with baltimore and help them get back towards their super bowl run if you know what i'm saying but now you know what time it is let's get into the picks all right all right all right so last week was I know I said the week before was weird, but last week was kind of weird. We had teams like the Eagles who were trying to beat teams like the Ravens that it just wasn't making sense. There was a lot of weird stuff going on last week, um, but your girl still did pretty good. I got 11 out of 14 right. Sorry for those bets. I know they didn't really come through. I'm sorry, but it was weird. It didn't make sense, but your girl still did her job. She gave y'all some good picks, and um, let's see what we got this week. All right, so I'm bringing my football back. Good luck. Good luck this week. I know I got it. I know I got it. Let's start it off with the Steelers and the Titans. These are the last two undefeated teams in the AFC. This should be a really good game. I am going to say Titans because I don't like the Steelers, but I do think that the Steelers might be able to stop the Titans. So this game's really a toss up. It should be really interested to see what the last two undefeated teams in AFC have for us this week. Next, we have America's game. Why am I calling it that? Because this is probably the biggest American rivalry that we have in football. So you have the Dallas Cowboys and the Washington football team. And so, I'm going to give it to the Cowgirls this week. <laughs> Sorry, I had to do it. Y'all know, nobody likes the Cowboys. I know, a lot of y'all do. I'm, I take it back. I take it back, friends. Okay, so I'm going to go with the Cowboys. I don't see this being a high-flying game. I don't think they're going to be running all over the place. But it would be a good time for the Cowboys to show up and let us know what they have going this season. Um, Next up, Panthers and the Saints. So there are a lot of injuries in New Orleans this week, and I wouldn't put any money on the Saints. I don't, I don't think that they have it this week. I think the Panthers and Teddy Bridgewater have something to prove. Um, you know, Teddy was on the Saints for a while, didn't really get a lot of playing time. So let's see how he pairs up with his former team. I'm going Panthers. Next up, we have the Lions and the Falcons. Now, typically when the Lions and the Falcons play, it's pretty a pretty close game. Um, the score is within a touchdown. So hopefully we see some good football this week. The Falcons really haven't been playing well. They did win last week, which, you know, they probably should have time to, you know, I tell you, get in your rhythm, figure out what's going on. You don't want to be 0-8. So at least they got one game going. And so I'm going to go, though, with the Lions. All right, folks, we have an easy one. Chiefs, Broncos, duh, it's the Chiefs. They got it. No questions, nothing to say here. Let's keep it moving to the 49ers and the Patriots. Now, I feel as though the 49ers are in their rhythm. They have their quarterback back from his injury. Um, Cam is back on the Patriots side. So this game is really a toss-up. Who knows who's going to win this game, but I am going to go with the Patriots. Next matchup is the Seattle Seahawks and the Arizona Cardinals. Now, 
Now, we all know that the Seahawks are undefeated, but what I do know is that young guys like to try and show out in front of people that they've looked up to, might possibly be a mentor, someone they want to be in their shoes one day. So I feel like Kyler Murray, that boy is bad. He's running, he's throwing, he's doing everything he can. So don't just think that the Seahawks are going to run all over the Cardinals because they they want to win this game. I promise you that. But if we're going to be logical, we're going to go with the Seahawks. And that's what I'm doing. Next up, we got the Jaguars and the Chargers. And y'all know what kind of game this is. So I'm going to go with the Jaguars next. Moving on to the Bucks and the Raiders. This should be a good game. Um, Mr. I don't know if it's the fourth down or not. Brady should pull out a win here. Um... Let's pause here for a second. Did y'all notice how Mr. Sore Loser didn't want to shake my quarterback's hand? I don't think that that was kind of cute. It wasn't. It wasn't, Mr. Brady. Goats don't do that. Hmm. All right, next up, we have the Browns versus the Bengals, and this should be a pretty decent game. It should be, a, these teams are evenly matched, and that's the best way of putting it. I'm going to go with the Browns. I'm sticking with the Browns this season. I don't care. Joe Burrow is a cold quarterback. Like that boy, he makes things happen. But I'm going Browns. Why? Because they have an overall team. They've worked on their defense. They're, they've clearly worked on their offense. So Browns it is. Next up, it is the Bills and the Jets. Bills. Next, we have the Packers and the Texans. Now, this would normally be a matchup, you know? If you think about Aaron Rodgers and Deshaun Watson and, like, wide receivers and real long passes and, I like, oh, crazy game. I don't think that's what's going to happen here. I think Aaron Rodgers is just going to come in there and pass the ball to Devontae and everybody else he has, and it's going to be the Packers. Going to be the Packers. Last and never least, we have the Chicago Bears and the Los Angeles Rams. Now, last season, I, I flew myself all the way to L.A. for this game to get some sunshine, to see my Bears, you know, kind of go out there and show out. And I was embarrassed, y'all. We was missing field goals. We was doing all kinds of... Ooh, but this is a new team. A new team. And I'm telling you, my Chicago Bears are going to beat the Rams on Sunday. No problems, no questions. We got this. All right, so that's it. That's another week of Talking Football with T. You guys know what to do. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please hit that subscribe. And then if you're on IGTV, hit those notifications so you don't miss, you don't miss anything. You never know what you might get with T. So do all of that. Leave me, leave me a note in the comments. Should I post these earlier? Y'all need these midweek. I don't do Thursday games. It's a reason. Maybe I'll tell y'all why I don't do Thursday games another day. But until next week, bear down.